All right, what's up, guys? Uh, I don't remember what the hell we were doing. I just cut this off. Were we going? Yeah, we're going to turn in the quest for killing Kamatu, which we did because we're awesome. Mother effer, I'm awesome. Do 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 do. So we get a nice little uh, chunk of change out of this quest, and then. Any news? At last. Yeah, this... you're welcome. For now, I will maintain my views here. Yeah. You are always welcome in the banner's man. All right, so we have 500 gold there. We got the gold that we picked up from the bandits. We got a bunch of loot, so let's sell the loot and then see if we can go upgrade at least one of our spells. Uh, Badathor. Got something for just about everybody in here. Just about everybody. Everything. Some may call this junk. Me, Me I, I call them the treasures. treasures. Boom. Glass bow. Should I keep that? Yeah, I might need it. See, uh, man, I'm really hesitant. Wait, what's my apparel? Somebody told me, yeah, someone told me that, like, one-handed bonus doesn't affect your dagger damage, so basically I bought those oh, for no man. reason whatsoever. I'd even buy Smart. A bit of this and a bit of that. Shows... Not okay. Let me try that again. I was gonna say goes to show, goes to show that even I don't know even close to everything about this game, and I've played Remember, 200 plus hours. You just let me. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. that dark, dark. What you got? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 yeah, okay. Next time comes. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Welcome, trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. And he's just like, "Welcome back! I've missed you." And you're like, "You're lying to me." Ah, oh, that was nifty how that turned out. So I just gotta sell the sapphire. Until next time. Guess what? It's next time. Ah! ah! <laughs> I take a look. I just realized I have no idea how long I've been recording. Let's just assume I started at four, which means I should go to nineteen. Ish. All right. Good enough. I'm so bad at this. Like, this is a completely last minute commentary because I, uh, my friend actually just wandered into my room and, like, I was just chilling out playing RuneScape. And he's like, oh, so, like, did you record already? Or, like, are you gonna do it later? And I was like, oh my god, I need to record. <laughs> you just completely blanked out on it. So, that's alright, though. It's not too late yet. It's only, like, 8 p.m. I like doing my recordings the night before, uh, and it's something I started not too long ago because I realized that when I was playing for chunks of like an hour and 15 minutes, say to just, wait no, he's Conjuration. When I was playing for chunks of like an hour and 15 minutes, I would kind of burn myself out on my commentary and just like kind of give up and do a crappy job. And I'm like, no, no, no. I should not be doing a crappy job. There yeah, he is Conjuration. Where one can yeah. my type of work without fear I'm pretty sure this is the Illusion Guy's uh, room. I don't know where he is. Let's just wait like eight or nine hours and see if they turn up. Oh, I'm stretching. Stretching. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm all stretched. Yeah, I love stretching. It feels so good. Hey. Illusion. Yeah. So, illusion. wish to master the arcane arts. The arcane arts. Pacify. Hang on. All right. So pacifies. So what else do we have though? No, we have calm and pacify. Shouldn't we have another spell available? We are. Yeah. I know we're past expert Ooh. illusion. If only I take a look. Hmm. 
well, pacify, it is, and let's see, fury, I think, no, fury's the low level one, frenzy, see, even that's low level, I don't understand why he doesn't have, like, the highest spells, like, they, they usually have all of them available. Alright then. Um, I'm gonna wait two days, which is actually, you know what, screw that. Let me quick save. Oh, you can't kill him because he's a quest person. Alright. So in that case, I'm gonna wait two days and I'm gonna see if his shop, uh, like, replenishes. Because that's, that's weird. He should have had the highest, like, available spells for me. You know what I mean, bro? Duh. I'm texting right now, but I was also failing because I was hitting the wrong freaking buttons. And 24 more hours, and well, we are waiting for that. Mm. One last sip of lemonade, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab me a drink. I'm gonna grab me a drink. Alright, what should I drink? Mountain Dew, lemonade. Gatorade, or, yeah, that's it, um, let's do eeny, meeny, miny, mo. no, we, we, I don't have eeny, no, meeny, miny, mo. they say knowledge hey. is its own reward, hey, the illusion Illusion. guy, so, you wish to master the arcane arts, pacify again, yeah, he just doesn't have, look at, see, pacify, look at this, creatures and people up to level 28, frenzy, Oh, wait, that's just because I spec'd differently. No, but why do they cost different? That's what I'm wondering. I don't know. And route, yeah. Well, either way, either way, we, uh, we got some new spells. So let's get... Pacifies. He costs his 94, though, instead of 47. That's still not terrible, though. Let's keep Calm on there, just in case we happen to need it. Frenzy's not bad either. Um, <laughs> well, we didn't spend near as much money as I anticipated. Uh, let's see here. What shall we do? Should we just keep... Wait. Yeah, let's just uh, let's go continue with the Thieves Guild quest line here. Which means we need to go to Makoth, which is pretty much on the opposite side of the map. I have not been to Markarth right yet. Perfect. Then to White Run Stables it is, and then off to Markarth. Uh, da da da. I'm running in a circle. Don't judge me. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Oh, Markarth. Climb and back. Clearly. We'll be off. Uh, okay. Yeah, go. Ever been to Markarth? All right. What should I drink, guys? Let's you never answer my question. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't believe a word. Uh, Gatorade I usually like to save for class, so that makes it between lemonade and Mountain Dew. I just had a lemonade, and I mean it was delicious, but I know it's 8 o'clock, I don't really want to drink a Dew, but I still have 5 hours until I go to bed. Yeah, I'm drinking a Dew. That's, that's happening. Oh, hey, whoa. Never should have come here. It's okay. That guy was evil. Well, in the city. it's a good thing I slit his throat. <laughs> Everyone's still freaking out, but that's supposed to happen, don't worry. It's part of a quest, but we're not going to do that quest because I don't really know it, and I don't really want to do it. And this is difficult this is enough. Actually, that was a lie. Alright, so if you're playing this, um, like, if you're playing as a thief and you don't have the illusion backup that I do, this is uh, a pretty difficult quest, actually. But if you have the illusion backup, like I do, so you can cast invisibility, this quest is a breeze. So, so much easier. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. Ritsu and Zell? You idiot! I... 
I'm sorry. All right, I'm I'm skipping this dialogue say. because this guy is the a dick. I'm calling it Calselmo Preposter. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it. Before. Very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. Right. So basically, no matter what you do, that guy won't show you uh, his notes. So you have to grab the key right quick, just snag it, and then run over here. This guard will stop you. Good. Museum is open just ignore him. Like, legitimately, you can just ignore him, walk past, and go in the freaking door. Uh, okay, now... Let's see, this is where it gets a little more tricky. Um, there are guards up here that you have to sneak past, essentially. Um, just gonna go invisible. Hey, look at that, 80 illusion. Um, eventually, I might come back and... Like, on the way back, I might kill all these guards for the, like, sneak experience and stuff, but... Actually, you know what? The hell with it. Alright, so apparently... Apparently, they don't die from uh, a normal hit. I'm definitely gonna have to use power attacks on these guys. So that was weird, because that was a power attack, but it, for some reason, still did the cutscene, but... Yeah, okay, so that was good. Um, let's see, I think it's... No, that's Dwarven Arrows. That's a Dwarven Bow. But we don't really need money. What I'm looking for is... There's one that has, like, jewelry, yeah. I'm gonna unlock this one, just because... I mean, we don't really need money, but it never hurts to have a little extra, and... It's jewelry, it's mega lightweight, so... So that's not really worth that much. Uh, screw that. Isn't, wait, no, no. I think there's a, maybe like a skill book in here somewhere. Am I going crazy? Alright, I'm going crazy. I thought there was a skill book in here or something. Alright, anyways, on with the quest. Enter sneak mode. Quick save, just in case. We got that museum key, so we are good to go. G2G. Alright, so this is uh, a beauty up here. There's a guard that's going to come through that door right there, and you can light him on fire. But first, come in here. Um, grab this spider control rod. And then kill this little fucker. Um... I, I don't really have a specific reason for doing that other than I always have and I think it's just like a good idea <laughs> um, so just do that it's not really a huge deal but yeah so a guards gonna come out of that door and he's gonna face that way and then he'll patrol around this room um, if you're not using like a sneak a really sneaky character you can just use that lever and it'll trigger those poison traps over there in the corner but since we are on a sneaky character simple as that once again grab keys uh, make sure that you always have the keys for these rooms and make sure you quick save frequently because if you get spotted then you don't want to have to start over uh, so go do 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 Alright, so, you see, where is, where are they? I don't know. Okay, there's only one guard, but there are like dwarven blades in the ground. Activate those. Oh, there they are. The guard just walks into them, like a genius. 
So that's your uh, your easy method for getting rid of this guard. Sometimes there is a second guard, and I don't know why there isn't right now. Orcish arrows, though, that's kind of dangerous. Actually, yeah, his uh, his room is over there, but I don't think we need anything from it. So continue onward and quick save once again. Make quick work of these two, and there should be one more guard down there further, but I'm not sure at the moment. I think once we get down to the end here, we hang a left, but I'm pretty sure there's another guard over here somewhere. Yeah, whatever. You don't want to go down there because you will die. <laughs> I mean that literally, like there's some kind of like steam or something down there that kills you, so. Quick save again. Alright, so there's obviously a guard there, a guard there. Um, the guard that we just saw walking, I think, patrols back to that door. So we're going to wait on that. Once again, very cleanly executed. And we had an orcish bow on that one, so we'll grab that. Killed in place. Silent as can be. Very simple. And like I said, this is very, very much so, like, a lot easier if you have the illusion background that I have. There are a bunch of people down here. Basically, you turn on the traps and then they all die. Except for one. He's coming right here. You don't have to kill him, um, but I just opt to because y you can, you know? Like, it's like more one of those why not situations. What do you say? I hope that turns all the traps off. Uh, what time is it? My, oh, I'm so over. Alright, see you guys on the next episode.